Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today, as it is the first Tuesday of the month, I am going to be updating my eyeshadow roulette project. So if you haven't seen, I have been updating this project on my channel since the beginning of the year. And basically, I choose five eyeshadows to work on for the month and just get some use out of them. And then I will choose a new five for the next month at the end of this video. So if that is something that interests you, then please keep on watching. Also, I am going to be updating my Pan That Eyeshadow project in this video as well. It's similar to the Pan Those Eyeshadows, except I'm only focusing on one shade at a time to hit pan on, but I will get more into that at the end of this video. So first we will just start by going through the shades, the five shades that I had in for June in the eyeshadow roulette project and I will show you my progress on those. So the first palette up here is my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette and I had the shade Damsel. So I will insert a picture of what that one looked like at the start of the month. And here is what we are looking like now in this shade. There is not much visible use. These ColourPop mattes are really hard pressed, so it's not showing much use. You can see the shade next to it, Spinning Wheel, has such a nice dip in it. I was hoping to hit pan on it this month, but that did not end up happening, which is fine. I'll be able to focus on that some other time. But I used the shade Damsel 10 times this month, which I thought was pretty good. It's just a really nice everyday shade for kind of pinky purple looks and I really do enjoy the shade. I knew I loved the shade when I rolled it in so I was really happy to get some use out of it. So even though you can't really see any progress on it, I know that I used it and I do really enjoy this shade. The next palette up here is my Wet n Wild Not A Basic Peach palette and I had shade number 5 so I will insert a picture of what that one looked like. And this is what we are looking like now. So there is a little bit more usage that you can see on this shade. I only used this one four times, which was honestly pretty good for me. I wasn't wearing blue on a daily basis. It's not my everyday color. So I was happy with just four uses. The way I do like to wear this on a daily basis is putting it on my lower lash line and then using like the oranges or the browns in here to go through my crease and stuff like that. So that is how I have found that I like to wear this on a daily basis. I also did a look where I had this shade all over the lid and this in the inner corner and I really did like how that turned out. That po That is posted on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. But not much progress on the shade but I was happy to reach into this palette a few times. The next palette up is my Ulta Beauty Hufflepuff palette and I have this shade Sherbert so I will insert a picture of what that one looked like. And here is where we are now. So you can see some good brushwork in the pan now and I used this one eight times so the second most used out of this month. And this is just a really basic shade to just pack down on the lid or lighten up looks. I probably could have used this every day, but I tend to like to just reach into one palette for a look each day. So sometimes I'll do two, maybe three palettes, but for the most part I'm just reaching into one palette to create a look. So that's why there are only eight uses. If I had used this every time I wore makeup it would have been a lot more but that's just how I like to do my makeup personal preference I did get some good use out of it you can see some more usage on it so that makes me makes me happy but yeah that is the progress on the shade the next shade ups comes from my essence salute Perry palette and it was shade number nine and once again I will insert a picture of what that one looked like And here is where we are now with this shade. So I don't know if you'll be able to really tell, but you can see that I 
used this shade. I only used it three times, just I wasn't really reaching into this palette. This isn't a palette that I reach for on a daily basis, even though it is a super nice everyday palette. It just creates nice soft looks. But I did use it a few times, and I do enjoy this shade. I think it performs really well. Dark purple shimmers aren't my favorite to wear on a daily basis, but I was able to create some pretty looks, and when I was using more than one palette, I like to pair this with the damsel shade from the ColourPop palette, and I thought those two worked really nice together. But when just reaching into this palette, I would use like these couple matte shades and these two pinky shimmers along with it, and I did really like the looks that I created using this shade. So lastly is my Little Mermaid palette from I Heart Revolution, and I have this shade Floatsome. So I will insert a picture of what that one looked like. And here is where we are now. So I only used this shade twice, so there's really not going to be much difference. I did use it on a liner brush both times, but two times is not really enough to get any sort of actual progress on a shade. I just wasn't really reaching for a dark green on the daily basis. That's kind of was the case for quite a few of these shades. I was really focused on Damsel and Sherbert. But I was happy to at least reach for this palette a couple of times as it is one of the newest in my collection. So that is the progress on this shade. So those are the five shades that I had in for the month of June. And now we can get into choosing my shades for July. Alright, so we can start choosing my shades for July and I'm super excited. I didn't realize when I was choosing all these palettes how much color we might have this month, but I'm really excited. These are all palettes that I've been wanting to reach for for a little while now, and they feel really summery to me, so I'm going to choose one shade from each of these. So the first palette we have up is my Elf Retro Paradise palette, and I adore this palette. It is one of my favorite favorites in my collection. So this one has 18 shades, so I have my pretty random app set from 1 to 18, and we get number 15. So 15 is the shade Fortuna. This is not a shade that I reach for all that often in this palette, but I am excited. I was really hoping to get one of the orangey shades in this palette, so I am quite excited about this one. So here is a close-up of what this shade looks like. It's just a nice shimmery orangish shade, so I am hoping to get some good use out of that this month. So the next palette up is my Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Neons palette, and this one is incredibly colorful and bright, but I was really excited to reach for this for the summer. So we will go ahead and choose our shade. So this palette has 20 shades in it, so we'll just randomize. We get number 14. So, ooh, yay. So this is the shade Sparks. So Sparks is this matte orangish red shade that has some glitter pressed into it. I think the ColourPop calls these like sequin shadows. And this is one that really captures my attention, and I'm very excited to use this. And I also think it might pair nicely with the Fortuna shade from the e.l.f. palette, as they're both kind of these orangish toned shades. So, very happy about that. So, the next palette we have up is my Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And this is the most neutral palette that we have this round. So this palette has 12 shades, so we will just randomize 1 through 12. We get number 3. So number 3 is just this nice matte off-white shade. It is the shade in the buff. 
So it's just a nice matte whitish shade. This will be good to just be packing down, setting the lid. Like I said last month with the shade Sherbert, I like having these type of shades in just as a quick one just to easily use. So I am quite happy about having this one. So my next palette up is my Wet n Wild Pac-Man palette, the Game Over palette. And this is one that I don't reach for super often, so I wanted to pull it in this month and hopefully get some good use out of it. So there are nine shades in here, so we will just randomize. And shade number one. So shade number one is this matte pink right up here. And I don't know how much I'll actually use this one just because it has this little imprint in it and something about these little imprints, I don't want to use them because I don't want them to like go away. Even though I have pictures of them and I'm trying to get over that and just use the shadows because I have the palette, I might as well use it. So I'll see how much use I actually get out of this shade, but I am happy to just be reaching for this palette in general. So the last palette up is the newest one in my collection. This is the Nomad Cosmetics America's Parks palette. And here is what this one looks like on the inside. So once again, has a little bit more color in here. So I will randomize 1 to 15. So number 7. So number 7 is Tatten Ridge right here. So I'm actually really excited that I got this shade. I haven't yet used this shade, but I have swatched it. And it turns out to be just kind of a brownish shimmer shade. So I'm really happy. And I feel like for the amount of color that I could have gotten this month, I did end up with some pretty neutral shades, I would say. So I'm really excited about this and just using this palette in general. So those are all five of my shades for the month. I am very excited about this and just to get some use out of these palettes. As you saw, they are a bit more colorful, so they're not my everyday, but I do really enjoy them, and I'm very excited about the shades that we have for the month. So I will insert a picture of what these swatches look like. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads. I update this project once a month, and if that interests you, then please do subscribe. I also have a playlist for this project if you want to follow along that way. And be sure to also check out my Instagram as I update this project over there as well. Alright, so to end this video I wanted to try something a little different and I want to update my Pan That Eyeshadow project as well during this video. It's not really enough progress for its own video so I thought I'd just throw it in here at the end and see if this was something people wanted to, me to continue. So the way I do my Pan That Eyeshadow is I choose one shade to focus on until I hit pan or until I hit 30 uses which that hasn't happened yet just because this is the first shade I have rolled in. It has been in since the end of April, so basically the start of May is when I had rolled this one in. And it is from my Soft Glam palette, as you can see. And I had the shade Dusty Rose. So I will insert some progress pictures from the introduction of this project, and then I updated it once on my Instagram already. And then I will show you what it is looking like currently. So here is where we are now with the shade. I have used it 11 times total, which means I only used it 3 additional times since my last update at the beginning of June. So not much progress, but I was really focused on my eyeshadow roulette shades this month. So I think for July I will get some more good use out of this shade and hopefully hit pan 
AB8 shadows are notoriously easy to hit pan on, so I'm not too worried about that, and I thought this was an easy shade to start out with for this project. So, 11 uses, hopefully not too many more, but I really do enjoy this shade, and I don't mind working on it. So, if it's in for another month or two, I won't mind, and it's just nice to have this shade and work on hitting pan on it, but not have the pressure of purely a pan those eyeshadows project. This is just kind of like a little sister project to my eyeshadow roulette. So I'm rotating through my collection with that project and then working to hit pan with this one. So I hope that all made sense. And if you would like me to continue to update my pan that eyeshadow project along with my eyeshadow roulette, please let me know. I would love some feedback on this and on the projects in general. And let me know what you think of my shades for the month of July. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!